What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Tay Love, and thank you for tuning in again, man. And I know it's been a minute. And man, I miss y'all. So what's good, man? I'm sorry it took me so long to upload a new video. I didn't upload any video last week, which I tried, but I couldn't. I did not have time whatsoever. Um, I had some opportunities happen, man, over the last week, man. God's been really moving, man, like really moving, like real talk. Well, I'm gonna start with the first update, man. The first update, update's on my hair first, man. Let's get into these locks, man. Like my locks, man, look how long they is, y'all. They passing my eyes and everything. Like my locks are getting crazy long. Remember I talked to y'all about, you know, my hair being irritated, my scalp being irritated. I found a way to make it work where I can still use locking gel. What I did was I took half of the bottle of uh, locking gel and I poured water into it. And I added water into it, then I added some uh, oil. All the oils that I normally use, I use olive oil, uh, tea tree oil, and coconut oil to mix together. I have been using those together. So I put that in the mix with the uh, coconut, I mean, I'm sorry, with the uh, locking gel and I just stirred it up stirred it all up together and mixed it all together and then it made it it made the uh, locking gel very thin because um, I guess because it had so much water and oil into it that it made the locking gel very thin so then when I used it I really even have to I can just dab my finger like that and I can use it I didn't even have to use that much and once I was done man like like my scalp was moisturized it wasn't dry it felt good man like it felt it felt good and my locks had they were looking good like I, this I did it my retool I did that was uh last Tuesday. That's when I did it last Tuesday. You know, I actually like it when it starts getting kind of rough. I don't like it when it's like super fresh. Like I, I just I don't like that super fresh uh, spree twist. It just I don't know. It just don't they don't sit right to me. I like it when it get a little frizzy. Yeah, and uh, from there I just been you know I put some oil in my hand. I put it just like this and I just run it through my hair to my scalp. So I try not to use too much oil on my scalp and just basically try to do as less products as possible. And past week, man, my head has it just felt good. Like it feels like I have not been itching. Like this, I'm not I'm not like ah not none of that, man. You know you get the little one every now and then when your head get hot or something but that's it man but uh moving on from the hair man well I'll, let me show y'all real quick though let me show y'all how it's looking though you look at the side well look at that the side view i ain't, I ain't did no views for y'all in a minute right right side no i'm just playing. i'm just playing man. you know how everybody be on their videos he go to the right side he go to the left side man just turn and show us man but yeah i used to do, i used to do that too yo so it's all good yeah man they getting long man they 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 driven man i mean i you know, I, I don't even shake my hair like this no more because it be hitting me in my eye and stuff. So I don't do it no more because it's dangerous at this at this point. You know, it used to be fun because I'm like, I got to shake, I got to shake. But now you end up messing up your eyes, man, and hurting yourself. So I don't be shaking like that no more, man. Yeah. When they start getting a little longer, you can't do all that. But um, anyways, uh, let me tell y'all what happened last week, man. Last week, well, let me go back. All right, the Monday before last Monday, my wife called me, man. She was having a bad day at work and uh, she called me and she was crying and she was just like man I'm done I just want to be done with this job I wish I could just quit right now and uh, she just had a very bad day because she hadn't been liking her job and um, she had been looking for new work and stuff but she just hadn't found a job you know and you know her we need her income you know right now especially with me being in school and um, you know I take on all my projects I try to pay you know I pay majority of the bills but still need help so uh, she had been you know having to work or whatever but on uh, this past Monday she gets a call you know and she ends up getting an interview for the job she had been waiting on. It's a second interview that she's going. She was going to be doing. And I was like, man, that's dope. You know what I mean? So that uh, she she was getting prepared for that Wednesday to have our interview. And then on that on that same Monday, I end up getting this call. You know, and I get a call from the guy, and he's like, hey, is this Billy? I'm like, uh, yeah. You know, y'all if y'all ain't know, that's my real name, Billy. But um, he was like, yeah, is this Billy? I'm like, yeah. You know, uh, how you doing or whatever. And he was like, uh, you know, you sent me your uh, uh, your re resume. You know, a while. Back back or whatever and um i'm just now have the opening position and i was going to see if you were uh you know what you were doing right now you know and um this was a job this job was basically uh the advertisement that i saw the ad that i saw in the job it was talking about they needed help with social media youtube developing their channel and um helping them with their podcast so i was like man 
And you know, with my YouTube and I started getting the feel of YouTube and loving it, I was like, it'd be dope to have a job that way. So he basically told me that, you know, he checked out my channel and he loved my channel and he thought that this channel was, you know, amazing what I was doing on it. And I was like, well, you know, that's all good. You know, that's cool, you know. But, you know, he, he wanted to know what, what I was trying to do, you know, for the next years or so, you know what I mean? Like, what am I, what are my plans? I let him know I was in school and everything and I was just freelancing. That's what I've been doing this whole time, just straight freelancing, just picking up client after client after client. But when you're freelancing sometimes and you're taking smaller projects, a lot of times you're doing more work than you have to because you're taking small projects that you're not getting as much money for. So you're doing way more work. So it's been hard for me to do videos because that's all I'm doing is taking client after client and I'm just booked up, you know. But um, he was like, hey, come in, come into an uh, interview or whatever. So I go to the interview. Um, he asked me to come to the interview. And, uh, it's a work in interview. So he wanted to work and see how I work and see and see how they work. So I went in to their place, you know, to the place on uh, the Wednesday. So it's the same interview day my wife had. So it's like we both got interviews that day. So I'm like, you know, I'm a, I was like, I'm gonna go see it out. Uh, if, if they pay good and it's worth it, you know what I mean? I'll take the job. But if it's not, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing my freelance thing because I'm still paying my bills. It wasn't like a, we, I'm just over here, ain't making no money. But if the opportunity is there, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take it for sure. But I get there, man, and he has this whole studio set up, man. He does where he does his podcast, where he sh uh, shoots all his YouTube stuff. And and, you know, it's his big finance company, but you know, he, he he's basically um, becoming a brand of his own. You know, the, the guy who founded the company, he's coming a brand of his own, and uh, I thought that was dope. And basically, man, I, I went in there, I did my thing on that day, man, talked to him about, you know, the pay, the, the schedule, and everything, and for the first time, I, I've never been able to do this, for the first time, I was able to negotiate my pay and my hours, and I got exactly Exactly what I wanted. So I got a new job, y'all, man. I got a new job. It's actually a contract. So it's not like I'm just a slave under somebody, you know what I mean? So it's to me, I see it as a partnership and I'm going to go hard and blow up his stuff too, man. I'm trying to make his stuff move, his channel move like my channel moving. And that's my goal. So um, yeah, man. And the pay, when I say the pay is great, the pay is great. The pay is great, y'all. It's great. But uh, yeah, man, it's it's it was it's a blessing to have that, man. But that ain't the only news, though, man. My wife went to her interview, and they said it's gonna give her a call back, all right? So they tell her they're gonna call her back, and I'm like, okay, cool. That means for sure, more, maybe more than like they're gonna call you back. But we get down to Friday, and they because they said it was gonna call before the end of the week, and get down to Friday, they hadn't called her. Well, actually, Thursday, come down to Thursday, they hadn't called her, so we like, all right, we just got one more day. But she gets another call from another job. That's crazy, huh? Another call. Off on another job and this job uh tells her to come into the interview the next day that friday so she goes into that interview and man i kid you not she comes back with a job man when i say god worked man god showed up that last week god showed up all the way that last week like real talk like to be honest man on that day that she called me on that monday she called me crying i'm talking about like i've never heard my wife like feel that way about a job before so it, it to me it was like man like i after we got the phone Man, I got on my phone. I started praying. You know, I was praying off the top, and I said, "God, I, we need increase." I didn't know how he was gonna do it. I told God, I said, "We need some type of increase, whether it's a bigger project or whatever that I take." But I gotta get her out of that job. And I said, "God, she needs to see you. Like she needs to see you, because right now she's not seeing you, and her her faith is starting. It, it's lacking right now, and she needs to see you so that that faith can be restored." And man, when I say he showed up last week, like God came through. That's why I tell y'all man stay focused on God like real talk because God is going to take care of you but you gotta focus on him you gotta have faith in him you gotta keep believing you, at least you gotta at least be around people who have faith so that you can cling on some of that because I was the one leading the faith in my household and my wife was able to see blessing happen all around and now man when I say her faith was restored and she saw God she knew it when she got her job she was like man that's gotta be God because the, the job was already hers even when I showed up to my, the, my interview, I already knew. I already knew it was mine because I know how my God is. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't want to keep preaching y'all, man. I just want to give y'all a quick update. Y'all can expect more and more videos. Also pray for me, man, because the way the schedule is with the job, I can go to school, but it's, it's going to take up a lot of my time and I'm really juggling if, to be honest, man, I love branding and designing, man. Like that's what I love to do. I love cutting hair. I've always been cutting hair, but I always look at it as no matter what, I'm going to cut hair. Like no matter what, 
even if I have a license, I don't have a license, whatever, I'm gonna cut hair. And I'm right now I'm praying to see what direction God want me to do. Because if God said, hey, I want you to go to school, but now I got this over here for you and I want you to take this route because I need you to bless somebody over here or I need you to inspire somebody over here, I'm gonna go. It don't, it don't matter what my plans are and what I want to do. I'm gonna do what God tell me to do. So y'all just pray for me, you know, as I'm going through this, man, trying to figure out which way to, you know, go because to be honest, if I, if I continue to go to school and work, I'm gonna be away from my family. That's one big thing. Um, my pro my personal project is gonna slow down, so I'm not gonna be taking all the clients that I want. I can't cut my client's hair that I have. I I, I won't be able to continue cutting no their, their hair because I don't have time. And on top of that, I will not have time to make these videos at all. Because I've tried last week and last that's how my week was. And it was like, I can't do anything but go to this job and go to school. So it's been a real battle with me, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna be leaning towards taking a break from school because I still want to finish. I just may need to take a break because I want to see what God has me over here and see what he wants me to do over here because I've been there for the past few days. And when I say I love this job, like I've been having a, like fun. It don't even feel like work, man. Time go by like that. Like I've been, just been enjoying myself and I've been going in up there too. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's all I got for y'all, man. I'm sorry that I talked along. I'm sorry it's a long video, but I'm putting a whole week's uh, video in the one. Um, but yeah, y'all can continue. Y'all can continue to see uh, more and more videos because I gotta make these, man. Like I love making videos, and I felt bad that I didn't record anything. Like I, I really felt bad. Like I, I, I gotta record something. Like I gotta keep this channel going. I gotta keep this channel growing. And I could, I appreciate all y'all for continuing rocking with me. I still been getting comments. Still been getting subscriptions. Like. I appreciate y'all, man. Like, real talk. Stay blessed. Stay locked. It's your boy, Mr. Tay Love. Y'all make sure y'all click that link. Go and su subscribe. Subscribe.